the splendor of the king, clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice, he wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God. Age to age he stands, and time is in his hands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God had three in one, Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb. How great is our God, sing with me, how great is our God, and no will see how great, how great is our God. Name above all names, worthy of all praise. My heart will sing, how great is our God. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. I welcome you to St. Oliver Plunkett's Church this afternoon on this very special, very happy occasion. Claire and Stephen, you're especially welcome because you are the cause of our joy and our celebration today. You have chosen to get married, not only in the presence of your families and friends, but also in the presence of Almighty God in this, his house so we pause at the beginning of your wedding mass as we prepare ourselves to stand in the presence of God, to worship him, and to ask for his blessing on you today and in the years that lie ahead. We acknowledge now our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, Uphold what you have established for the increase of the human race, so that the union you have created may be kept safe 
by your assistance, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated now, and we're going to listen to some readings from the Holy Bible. First reading, a reading from the book of Sirach. A love and partner is, safe, is a safe shelter. Whoever finds one has a, found a rare treasure. A loving partner is something beyond price. There is no measuring their worth. A loving partner is a safe, life-saving remedy. And those who respect their Lord find true love. For as a person is, so is their loved one. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a cymbal clashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are and knowing everything, and if I have the faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give away all that I possess piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I am without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. As long as we love one another, God will live in us, and his love will be complete in us. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love 
than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants any more because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learnt from my Father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you. And I commissioned you to go out and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. And then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Stephen and Claire, you have come today to pledge your love before God and before the church here present, in the person of your families and friends and your priest. In becoming husband and wife, you give yourselves to each other for life. You promise to be true and faithful, to support and cherish each other until death so that your years together will be the living out in love of the pledge you make today. May your love for each other reflect the enduring love of Jesus Christ for his church. As you face the future together, remember that the sacrament of marriage unites you with Jesus Christ and brings you through the years the grace and blessing of God our Father. Marriage is from God. God alone can give you the happiness which goes beyond human expectation, and which grows deeper even through the difficulties and struggles that are part of every person's life. As you set out together as husband and wife, put your trust in Almighty God. Make your home a center of Christian family life. In this you will give to your children something more lasting, more precious, and more beautiful than worldly wealth. The Christian home makes Christ and his church present in the world of everyday things. May all who enter your home find there the presence of the Lord. For he has said that where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Stephen and Claire, we offer you our prayers, our congratulations, and our best wishes today. We pray that your life together will be long and happy and healthy, We pray that as the years go by, your love for each other will grow deeper and stronger and truer. We pray finally that God will bless you with children and that in the words of the Old Testament blessing, you will live to see your children's children. May God bless you both and I now invite you to come to the altar to exchange your marriage vows. All right. All right. (laughs) Stephen and Claire, you are about to exchange your marriage vows. The church wishes to be assured that you appreciate the meaning of what you do. And so I ask you, have you come here of your own free will and choice and without compulsion to marry each other? We We have. Will you love and honor each other in marriage all the days of your life? We will. Are you willing to accept with love the children God may send you and bring them up in accordance with the law of Christ and his church? We are. I invite you then to declare before God and his church your consent to become husband and wife. I, Stephen, take you, Claire, as my wife, 
for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and health, till death do us part. I, Claire, t take you, Stephen, as my husband, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. What God joins together, man must not separate. May the Lord confirm the consent that you have given and enrich you with his blessings. Amen. You forgot? Well, you, you can if you want. Well, at least you had them. <laughs> Almighty God, bless these rings, symbols of faithfulness and unbroken love. May Claire and Stephen always be true to each other. May they be one in heart and mind. May they be united in love forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Clear wear this ring as a sign for our faithful love, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stephen, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Is that good? Good. What about the prayers of the faithful now? Who's doing the prayers of the faithful? Are you doing the prayers of the faithful? Come on ahead now. Mm hmm. We want to hear you. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we now make in faith and trust. For Stephen and Claire, who begin their new life together on this special day, May the home be filled with laughter and happiness, and may the Lord bless them and keep them safe. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the parents of Stephen and Claire, for their family and friends who all have helped them to become husband and wife. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray, we pray for all families and friends here present that God may give you peace in your hearts for day, today, hope in your hearts for tomorrow, and love in your hearts forever. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for married couples everywhere that their lives will be an example to the world of unity, facility, and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As we gather to celebrate this joyful day, we remember the faithful departed who we have loved. We pray especially for Stephen and Claire's grandparents and niece, Aideen. May they watch over us today and join us with, join with us in love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the sick and those who are bereaved, while we are celebrating that in their suffering and loneliness, they may experience the strength of God's support. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Oh, I think that deserves a round of applause. Thank you, children. Heavenly Father, you have taught us that love is the fulfilling of the law. May Claire and Stephen always grow in their love for you and for one another through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. Now the gifts will be brought to the altar. Wherever you go, I shall go. Wherever you live, so shall I live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God too. Wherever you die, I shall die. And there shall I be buried beside you. We will be together forever. And our love will be the gift of our life. Pray, brethren, <clears throat> that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offering made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in him you have made a new covenant with your people, so that as you have redeemed man and woman, by the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection, so in Christ you might make them partakers of divine nature and joint heirs with him of heavenly glory. In the union of husband and wife, you give a sign of Christ's loving gift of grace so that the sacrament we celebrate might draw us back more deeply into the wondrous design of your love. And so, with the angels and all the saints we praise you, and without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. I invite you to kneel for this part of the Mass. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ.
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Donal, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your glory. Strengthen, we pray, in the grace of marriage, Claire and Stephen, whom you have brought happily to their wedding day, that under your protection they may always be faithful in their lives to the covenant they have sealed today in your presence. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now stand and pray together in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Let us pray to the Lord for this bride and groom who come to the altar as they begin their married life, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. I now invite Stephen and Claire to kneel for the nuptial blessing. Holy Father, who formed man in your own image, male and female, you created them so that as husband and wife united in body and heart, they might fulfill their calling in the world. O God, who to reveal the great design you formed in your love willed, that the love of spouses for each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that by fulfillment of the sacramental sign, 
the mystical marriage of Christ with his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife among your faithful. Graciously stretch out your right hand. Over these your servants, Claire and Stephen, we pray, and pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that as they enter upon this sacramental union, they may share with one another the gifts of your love, and by being for each other a sign of your presence, become one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O Lord, by their deeds the home they are forming, and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the way of the gospel. Graciously crown with your blessings your daughter Claire, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring warmth to her home with a love that is pure, and adorn it with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, on Stephen your servant, that he may be a worthy, good, and faithful husband, and a provident father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your altar as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your great banquet in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For the distribution of Holy Communion, if you would come up the middle aisle, please, and observe social distancing, and go back down the side aisle, and please receive Holy Communion only in your hand. The Communion Antiphon. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord, that you love one another as I have loved you. There were people of all ages gathered round the gable, poor and humble men and women, little children that you call. They are gathered here before you, and their hearts are just the same, filled with joy at such a vision as we praise your name. Golden Rose, Queen of Ireland, on our cares and troubles cease. As I kneel with love before you, Lady of Knock, my queen.
queen of peace Though your message wasn't spoken But the truth in silence lies As I gaze upon your vision Though the truth I try to find Here I stand with John the teacher And with Joseph at your side And I see the Lamb of God On the altar glorified Golden Rose Queen of Ireland All our cares And troubles cease As I kneel With love before you Lady of Knock My Queen of Peace and the lamb will conquer and the woman clothed in the sun will shine her light on everyone yes the lamb will conquer and the woman clothed in the sun will shine her light on Golden Rose, Queen of Ireland, all our cares and troubles cease as I kneel with love before you, Lady of Knock, my Queen of Peace. Lady of Knock, my Queen of Peace. How beautiful the hands that serve the wine and the bread, sons of the earth. How beautiful the feet that walked the long dusty and heels to the cross how beautiful how beautiful how beautiful is the body of Christ how beautiful the radiant bride who waits for her groom with lights in her eyes. How beautiful when humble hearts give the fruit of pure so others may live how beautiful how beautiful how beautiful is the body of Christ and as he that we will live just
Just as he died, willing to pay the price, willing to pay the price. How beautiful! Is the body of Christ. O oh Jesus, I believe that I have received your flesh to eat and your blood to drink because you have said it and your word is true. O oh sacrament most holy, O oh sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine, Immaculate Heart of Mary, health of the sick, comfort of the sorrowing, Queen of Peace, Our Lady of Fatima. His Holiness Pope Francis cordially imparts the requested apostolic blessing to Stephen Lynch and Claire Doherty on the occasion of their marriage with prayers for the happiness of their Christian life together, the Church of St. Oliver Plunkett, Strathfoyle, the given on the sixth day of November, 2021. Just before the final prayer and blessing, can I thank um, Stephen and Claire for inviting me to be part of your very special day. It's been a lovely pleasure and privilege being with you today. I congratulate you on your marriage. I thank you for the way that you've prepared for this day. I know we had a few false starts due to COVID, but thank God we, we got here. Thank you for the way you prepared. It was a sign to me of the importance that you place on the sacrament that you have received today. Uh, if I can give you one piece of advice, it is this. You have received Holy Communion together on your wedding day. Receive Holy Communion together often because you will find in this sacrament, which is Jesus Christ himself, really and truly present, you will find in him a strength and a peace that you will not find anywhere else in the world. And you will find that he will give you that strength that you need to be faithful to the promises you have made today. I baptize Claire, and I know you don't believe that because I look so young. <laughs> so it's lovely. It's lovely being present now on the day of her, of her marriage. It really is a great uh, pleasure for me to be here on this special day. I hope that the rest of today will be as beautiful as this part has been. The Lord be with you. May God, the all-powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you in your children. Amen. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth his love into your hearts. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you all today and remain with you forever and ever. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. You by my side, that's how I see us, see us. We're on our way to say I do. My secret dreams have all come true. I see the church, I see the people. Your folks and mine, happy and smiling. And I can hear sweet voices.
Sweet voices sing. 